Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're back EFL Trophy time, Plymouth Argyle vs Crystal Palace under 21s The EFL Trophy table stands, Argyle top of the table with 5 points, 1 draw uh, Which led to a penalty shootout win and 1 win Bristol Rovers in 2nd with 1 win and 1 draw but obviously their draw ended with a loss with us And in 3rd, Crystal Palace, our opponents tonight, the under 21s with one win, one loss, and in fourth, rock bottom, Swindon Town with two losses. Our current form in this trophy table, we are qualified for tonight, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, and our, our current form, last time out, we beat Swindon 3-1 away from home. And before that, we drew 1-1 one, one with Bristol Rovers, but won 4-3 on penalties at home park. Whereas Crystal Palace on the 21s last time out in this trophy, they lost to Bristol Rovers 2-0 away from home and before that won 2-0 away from home again to, to Swindon. Bit of news on the club, most of you will know, we got Grimsby away in the first round of the FA Cup. Absolute minger of a draw, that is the last thing we would have wanted, a, a tough away game, another away game, never get any home draws, Argyle, but we we got to go in there and, you know, I wouldn't be too, I wouldn't be too... Salty if we, if we didn't go far in this in this cup as our league form has been outstanding. But without further ado, let's get to the stadium. Come on, you green. <laughs> banging the things because they clearly think they're hard but it's all right line up so Burton in goal Green, Scott and Galloway as a back three Vinny Grass, Matt Butcher, Conor Glad and Jack Henry put line up in the midfield four and Jenkins, Davies, Cosgrove and Caleb Roberts in the front in the front three quite a quite a young line up but this team's young going to go with a, going to go with a three nil today I think I think you know we still got quite a strong side with, with our youngsters um, and, and the result is, isn't really isn't really irrelevant to anything but yeah I'm going to go with a 3-0 Ben score prediction I think it's going to be a 2-1 Argyle I think but yeah 2-1 so yeah two, one. let's get into it come on Really, I'd say both teams got the got chances. Crystal Palace under 21s, I'd say, have had the better chance of the two. Uh, not sure the Bristol Rovers versus Swindon score. I know they are playing. Um, but yeah, this result's a bit irrelevant. It doesn't really matter what happens. A win, though, just, just improves our confidence. Scar playing, um, as I said, which is good, but you won't, you won't be able to play on the weekend due to his red card. But, um, yeah, we just move on to the second half now. No real negatives, we haven't been playing bad. Jack Endicott's been, been playing well, Caleb has been playing well. But it's, uh, it's been decent, let's move to the second half. Pretty good. Yes! Oh. 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 
Full time, I'll go one, Chris Palace under 21 is nil. Not really the, the most pleasing game, ref was another shocker. Somehow, even in the games which are least relevant to us, we still get big refs that are incapable of displaying a fair game. Should have had a penalty, that was clear. Um, Galloway, I think it was, or one in the back three got hit in the head and the ref was, was clueless to it. But main thing is that we won. Uh, pretty sure we won our table, so we go into the next, the next uh, round now. So, Ben, thoughts on the final score? I mean, we won, so we were going through, so I can't really argue with that. Nice. So yeah, we move on to Bristol Saturday. I'll be going to that. Um, so looking forward to a vlog for that. Get a cheeky beer review in, as as it was my birthday yesterday. Cheers to everyone who who wished me a happy birthday. Much to be appreciated. But, yeah, we move on to Saturday. Another three points incoming. Go on your greens.